Well guys, I've watched another video today and we're doing another tutorial. And this one will be about my personal best way of killing Vendrick. For me. <laughs> just for me. So yeah. No, I'm, just, I'm just gonna be show you, show, be showing you my strategy on how to kill him, I guess. Now I'm in New Game Plus here, and my main weapon is the Rapier. But I will just use Dragon Tooth at some points in this fight, probably. Um, I got Pyromancies, which I probably won't use, because they don't do much damage at all. So there are probably tips better than mine out there to kill Vendrick, but this is my personal favourite way. Now as you can see, I did intentionally die. Just like so I could do this recording. Might as well get a video out of it, right? So, my main, my, main, my main recommendation is to use a bleed weapon. I don't have any. So, I'm gonna use lightning. I don't know if it's any better. But, well, it does more damage to him, I guess, but. Yeah. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this every, I don't know, a few days or so. Maybe every day. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Make sure to subscribe. All I've been doing really lately is hammering out tutorial videos. But they're doing, they're doing well, so I'm going to keep doing them. Right, back to what I was doing. So, my main tip is just stay on his left side. This side here. The opposite side of his sword. And then just keep, like, rotating around. Which means he doesn't attack, so hang on, let's see. And then rotate. And then, sometimes, and then I recommend rolling just to make sure you do dodge it in time. And I think every now, now every now and then he will hit you, even if you're rolling just in time. Oh god! Okay, so when he does that, you just want to do the same thing and not do what I just did, and then quickly heal. Okay, not this again. So when he jumps, I want to just do the same thing and go to his side opposite the sword. Just keep rotating. <laughs> like if you know, if you, like also if you know, if you know, if you know, you know, you're gonna dodge the sword attack anyway. Don't bother rolling because it'll just waste stamina. Stamina is very, very important for this fight. Okay, he's too close to the wall. He's too close to the wall. Come closer over here, bud. Here he comes. So yeah, I don't do do much damage, obviously. Uh, I probably won't kill him. Maybe depends if I um, win the fight, but no. Oh, okay. No, we don't do that. We don't do that, Ven 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 bro. Let's see. I've not been hit like too bad yet. I've only hit once, but that was kind of by accident because the deep controller. Oh, okay, on the other side. I'm not gonna lie. This fight is overrated as hell. Even people say it's not good, I still think it's overrated. It's like, it's nothing really good about this fight, it's just good lore. That's the best thing about it. Well, I guess it's good lore, and that's it. Oh. Okay, that was uh, kind of close, not gonna lie. Ventry, come on, bro. You're not gonna kill me, because I'm the best. Now, actually, another tip. Make sure you collect some of the Soul of Giants because it lowers this dude's defense. I have four of them, I think. I, I, think, I think I have four of them. But trust me, if you get like four or five, five of them, it really helps this fight. And if I can get time to show you what they are, I'll show you. Okay, it's. Um, oh, I can't even show you. Sorry, guys. I'll show you maybe at the end of the video what you need. To help with this fight a lot. Which is one, a bleed up, which I don't have. And two, Soul of a Giant. Just go search in Soul of a Giant Dark Souls 2 on Google. And you know, you'll see what I mean. They're basically like a soul with like a. Um, I can't even tell what they look like. But you can get one from all the memories in this game. Look at this one, I've been hit once, basically. No, I've been hit twice, but. You guys didn't see that, okay? I, I was, it's just, just it's a glitch. It's a glitch, okay? It's just a glitch. You guys did not see me get hit at all. Don't even worry. I did not get hit at all. So I have no idea why I'm wearing a helmet that just deteriorates my health, but it's fine. 
I only do like five damage per second or something. That's not too bad. And I have like two thousand now. Okay, my rapier is nearly broken. I might have to switch to the dragon tooth in a second. I might need to heal as well in a second. Uh oh, bad, 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 Vendrick, bad. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, as you see, we bleed. Look at that. That dude is ugly, not gonna lie. What is that? I'll just, you know what? Just ignore that. Um, I'll show you what you actually need. I'll, I'll just kill Vendrick a minute then. Okay, so you want the these on the right so do not use these just give them even keep them in the inventory and so what so to kind of explain how they, those work it's only because the defense which just the, the you can do well, makes I'm trying to describe it here basically makes him not take as much damage and when, every time you get one it um makes take more damage by like half over so you got like two times more damage, four times more damage, six and eight and sixteen and thirty-two. And so so far I do sixteen times more damage than with normal defense. But if I was to kill Ancient Dragon, which I happen because he's way too hard, and the one-up is awful, um, he would do. I probably kill, probably would have killed him right then, but I didn't. So yeah. But anyway, that's basically my main tips on how to kill Vendrick. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do because I already said it. Goodbye.